All right, Shalawam, Shalawam. This is the brother Nakwam of GMS Mission Successful. Brother Nakum, GMS Stay Woke. All right, you know, the spirit of Yahweh Bashima and Shah was able for us to get together through the spirit. But before we begin this lesson, we want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Rakakodash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, who still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth, according to the Bible and who well. And shalom to all the Achaemenists out there that's pushing this truth out of sincerity and out of the fear of the Lord. You know, Lord's and we all be a part of the elect. So the, the lesson we're going to go into today through the Spirit is going to be in trusting in the Lord. Because that's very important as we live in these bad times, man. You know? It's trusting in the God of the Bible, Yahweh Hashem Shah, who the world even calls God and Jesus Christ. This is Psalms chapter 31, verse 6. Mm -hmm. I have hated them that regard lying vanities. And that's our people, man. Our people regard in the uh, the false philosophies that Esau Edom pushes, man. And for an example, with this spider juice, all right? Our people are trusting in this 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 devil, you know what I'm saying, and and, and everything that he say. You know, he say that this spider juice is healthy, it's good for you, it's going to make you stop getting the uh, Windows 19, you see. But it's reports that's coming out that people that are fully drinking that spider juice is getting more uh, 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 contagious than the ones who, who didn't drink it. So the ones, the two-thirds of our people that trust in Esau Edom is going to be to their destruction. Um, this is Psalm chapter 31, verse 6. Mm -hmm. I have hated them that regard lying vanities. Right, and the word and, and I thought the Bible wasn't about hate. See, and that proves that we can hate the two-thirds of our people, man. You see? I hated them that regard in uh in, in lying vanities, man. It says, But I trust in the Lord. But I trust in Yahweh Shimi Al Shai. That's why we're not drinking that spider juice. All right. That's why we're not conforming to the ways and bowing our knees to the system of Esau Edom, which is the so-called white race beginning with their elites, the banking families. All right. Because we trust in Yahweh Hashem Shah, man, because we know that he kills, he makes alive, he wounds, he heals, man. And neither there is there any that can deliver out of his hand. Give me Psalms 37 verse 3. Yes, sir. And then you hold Psalms 118 verse 8. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get the definition of the word trust right quick. It goes back to the Hebrew word patach, which meaning to have confidence. Now, we know the word confidence meaning calm meaning with, uh, dense meaning faith. So having faith in the Lord, it says to feel safe, to be secure. You know, you know, we, we have that confidence in Yahweh that he's going to make us feel safe, make us feel secure. You know, as the days intensifies, man. You know, the wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, and the fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right? You ready? Yep. This is Psalms chapter 37, verse 3. Mm -hmm. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashima was shy, and do good. And do good, man. You see, what's the good? Not disobeying his word, man. And that's only going to uh, apply to those that fear the Lord. Like in the book of Sirach, uh, the, tw the, the second chapter says, they that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, man. All right. So doing the good, studying, praying, reading, fasting, going out there on the highways and hedges, teaching his word and edifying the elect the right way. It says, so shall thou dwell in the land. So shall thou dwell in the land, man. And we're going to get that land back. The land of Israel, Jerusalem, all right? Once the Lord Yahweh shall returns and beam us up into those chariots, man. You know, the Lord's will be a part of the elect. And we're gonna, and the Lord's going to um, uh, uh, cleanse that land from all the pollutions that's over there, man, by way of fire. It says, so shall thou dwell in the land, mm -hmm. and verily thou shalt be fed. Verily, and thou shalt be fed, man. That's all uh, starting with the elect of the nation of Israel. That's who that applies to. So, Psalms 118. Mm -hmm. This is Psalms chapter 118, 
verse 3, verse 8, verse 8, kind of, kind of, yep. This is Psalm chapter 118, verse 8, yep. It is better to trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Shema mm -hmm. than to put confidence in man. Yeah, by that word confidence again, meaning faith. It is better to put our faith in the Lord, you know, than to put our faith in uh, in man, man. The main man being Esau, because he's the one that runs the world, man. But it also trickles down to the other heathen nations as well as the two thirds of our people, man. All right, we trusting in what does say the Lord does say the Bible say. As a matter of fact, I got a second definition of that word trust in the Strong's. All this is from the Blue Letter. It says to hide for refuge, be bold, confident, secure, and sure, man. And all that is um in the definition of trusting in the Lord, man. Okay, because Yahweh Bashim Yahashah is going to uh, be a refuge for his men. Okay, the elect. Okay, starting with the men or down to the women and children. This is uh, Psalms chapter 118, verse 9. Mm -hmm. It is better to trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim mm -hmm. than to put confidence in princes. Yep, see, confidence in princes, leaders, man. Okay, the governors, you know what I'm saying, the celebrities. All right, um, you know, the mayors, you know, so on and so forth, man. If they're not speaking, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible, we ain't listening to it, man. We're not hearkening it because we know according to the Bible, if they don't speak according to the Bible, it's because there's no light in them. As a matter of fact, hold uh, Proverbs 3 and 5, mm -hmm. and uh, let's see, Psalms, um, 73, verse 28, what's that? Gone. This is on um, Psalm chapter one fifteen, verse nine. Mm -hmm. O Israel, O Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, as well as the Israelite foreigners, trust thou in the Lord. Trust thou in the Lord. See, have confidence in Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, and he's going to do what he said he was going to do, man. All right, the Lord said that his servants are going to eat. We got to trust. We got to trust in that. We believe in that. The Lord said he's going to take care of us as everybody else is catching hell. We believe in that, man. Because that's a gift that Yahweh Bashim Ashai has given to his men. It says, he is their help and their shield. Right, he is their help. Possess a pronoun, okay? The specific group of people, which is a.k.a. the elect. He is their help and he is their shield. A shield is a protector, all right? That's it. Okay. Uh, what was the other one I said? Um, Proverbs 3 and 5? Yep. yep. Gone, gone, gone. Yep. And then after that, let me see. Hold uh, Psalm 73, verse 28. Yeah, okay. This is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Yep. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh Shema Oshai, with all thy heart. See, with all thine heart, which goes back to the Hebrew word a lot, which means a mind. Trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. Have that full, firm confidence in the Lord with all your heart, man. You see, even when times get bad, still gotta trust in the Lord. Even when times is good, still gotta trust in the Lord, man. All right. And what else? And lean not, and lean not mm -hmm. unto thy own understanding. And lean not unto thy own understanding, because uh, not Proverbs, Sirach. Uh, the third chapter, the twenty, the twenty fourth verse says, "For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and the evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment." Man, you see, and that's the majority of our people out here, beginning with those who know that they're Israelites, but they're they're completely bugged out of their mind, though, man. They're teaching things that are contrary to the Bible. All right, it's all good, bro. That was it on that. Mm -hmm. Con. Uh, we want that Psalm, Psalm seventy three, verse twenty eight. I yes, believe, sir. This is Psalm chapter 73, uh, verse 28. Mm -hmm. But it is good for me to draw near to Yahweh Bashim mm Awashai. -hmm. I have put my trust in the Lord, mm -hmm. Yahweh Bashim Awashai. Mm -hmm. Thought that was it or not? That I might declare all thy works. Yeah, that I might declare all thy works. And that's what we do, man, when we teach the scriptures. We declare, you know what I'm saying, when we teach the scriptures. The works of the Lord, what he did for our forefathers and what he's doing for us in these times that we're living in now and what he's going to do 
for his elect, man. Okay? That's what we're declaring, you know, when we teach the scriptures. You know? That was it on there? Yep. Kind of. That's pretty much about it. You can close this out, bro. Kind you know, with that, Lord willing, the elect, these so-called Negroes, lot to America to edify you know, before we go any further, we like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Next up, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and a double shalom to Tisiakim out there. Shalom. Shalom.